exit instruction the second of the macro options to use focus on form is the use of explicit uh, instruction that is clearly focusing on form so what does it mean it means that during the classrooms we actually engage learners l2 knowledge we allow the learners to talk about the second language directly we just show the language we we draw the attention of the learners to the specific rules of how a second language works and we initiate and we encourage a discussion around it so this would mean that explicit instruction would uh, uh, needs or is based on rule explanation we all remember from our classrooms how our teachers uh, for instance explained to us uh, what a noun means or what an adjective means this is this rule explanation can be either oral or we the teacher might allow the learners to write it down in any case uh, this would mean that we are talking about the rules of the language and we are discussing it then the, another form can be that the learners are given uh, a specific uh, text and then they are asked questions regarding the rules of the language in that case the learners are actually trying inductively they are trying to make sense of the rules of how the language works and after the task again there is a discussion of language uh, rules so that would mean that explicit instruction can possibly have two modes two ways of going about it one is direct instruction i want to teach a specific thing and i present it uh, directly the adjectives or the uh, adverbs or nouns anything a uh, subject predicate i just tell them this is a subject this is a predicate this is why we call it a subject and these are the things or these are this is the criteria on the basis of which we might call it predicate the other one is indirect instruction so in the direct mode as we said we are directly talking about language rules and we are either discussing it orally or the learners are writing it or we are giving it written out in any case uh, it is very direct in the indirect mode the learners actually discover the grammatical rules inductively so i give them this um, sentence and then i say oh, what is the sentence about uh like for instance ahmed is going to school if it is about ahmed i then i tell them this is a subject and what is te it telling what is the rest of the sentence telling about ahmed uh, going he is going to school so i say this will this part of the sentence which is telling something about the subject is the predicate so uh, I, i do this but i do this later in the sense that i would say give them a set of sentences and say what what are the commonalities regarding certain features in these sentences how is it different in any case your strategy to draw attention on the form of the language will be different depending on what form of the language do you want your learners to concentrate on but it is definitely indirect and we give this space to the learners to find their own rules or to make certain assumptions about the language this is often done through activities through tasks in which we uh, use some consciousness raising uh, discussion and um, this consciousness raising is a specific way to teach, to draw attention on the form and we will again talk about it in the coming module